In this video, we want to present a solution to a problem posed by Matt Parker. See the link below. Concerning a single transparent die containing three normal fair dice. The idea is to use the roll of this large die to simulate the roll of two normal dice. Now the problem here is getting the probabilities right because we're actually rolling three dice and there's no way to tell them apart and they're all the same color so we can't just say well we'll ignore the green die for example. So this is a real problem and we're not going to find any sort of tricky way of solving it, but really a mathematical way of solving it. And as Matt Parker mentions in his video where he introduces this problem, there are indeed solutions. The question is, can we find one that is particularly nice or easy to remember? And there is a nice solution online by Matt Stewart. And we are going to be showing a variation of that. I'll call it a slight improvement on Matt Stewart's method. So it was a very short introduction to the problem. If we rolled two normal dice 36 times, we would expect, if we summed up the two faces, to roll a two once, once out of those 36 times. And we would expect to roll a three, two out of those 36 times, etc until we reach the 7, which is the most probable, and we would expect to roll that 6 times out of 36. Now since we are now dealing with 3 dice, then we need to talk about a bigger number, 216, which is just 36 times 6, and we want the percentages to be the same. So if we rolled 216 times, we would still want to roll a 2 1 36th of the time which, as it turns out, would be 6 times out of 216. And the same goes for a 3. If we rolled a 3, 2 out of 36 times here, we'd want to roll it 12 out of 216 times here. So as I said, Matt Stewart presents a nice solution to this, and this is just a slight variation of that. If we roll three unique faces here, so for example a 1 and a 2, and a 3, and that sums to 6, then we would say we had just simulated the roll of a 2 of 2 dice. And for example here if we have again unique rolls, so all the faces are different, if we had a 1 and let's say a 3 and a 4, that sums to 8, we would say that we had just simulated the roll of a 3. Now these outside cases are taken care of by the unique roles and the inside cases are taken care of by the two of a kinds and the three of a kinds. So as we saw before, seven is the most likely case. So if we happen to roll a three of a kind, for example, one, 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 then we count that as having simulated a 7. Similarly, if we rolled exactly two of a kind, for example, 1, 1, and let's say 3, then we would say we had just rolled a 6. Now, as I said, this is a solution by Matt Stewart, and I have only changed these numbers here. So we have the number 6, 8, 10, 12, and 14, which I find a nice pattern. And here, 15, 13, 11, 9, and 7. Matt's solution is slightly different. I believe he has here a 6, and an 8, and a 9, and then here a 7 or a 10. So like I said, I like this pattern here. But other than that, this is indeed Matt Stewart's solution. And here it is in all its glory.